Iron. I work as a, you know, a cashier and floor salesman at Planet Comics here in Norman, Oklahoma. I really view the time that I spend here in specific as sort of a sanctuary. Comic stores have had to really diversify over the course of you know, the last five years due to various market constraints. In terms of comic books themselves, I think um, probably Marvel Comics X-Men is still probably the strongest franchise that we have. We have our typical American uh, comic book reader who is typically uh, fairly well educated uh, and has been reading comics for a long time. It's a, it's a, it's a hobby that's built out of a childhood interest, definitely. Guys, I appreciate you taking a look at oh, taking a look yeah, at all that thanks. stuff today. That's oh, really it's, it's thank you for letting us. Now. <laughs> well, just, when we first came, we I was looking at the books and I was like, "Hey, yeah. I think that's off TV." Uh, my favorite type of comic books are are sort of classified as as alternative or uh, modern adult fiction. The general view of comics in America is that it, you know the, it's superheroes, it's produced for children, it's children's literature. It's really not been the case for a long time. Uh, the first comic book won a Pulitzer Prize in 1993, and that was Art Spiegelman's Mouse, and uh, which dealt with the Holocaust issues. And Japan has a, a comic book industry that's probably three times as vibrant as the American one, and has a huge audience uh, for that stuff in America. It's called manga, which basically just means comic books. <laughs>